healthy, active children make better learners. I'm Kathleen Marzoff and I'm the principal at a Cole Richard Secord School. We have what we call a Roadrunner After School Club. How do you get kids involved in wanting to do homework after school? Make sure that there was some activity and some snacks involved. It is a collaborative effort between um, a staff member here at Richard Secord School and the teacher librarian at Harry Ainley School. And it was kind of their brainchild to um, bring together mentors from the high school to work with our elementary students. For every one Richard Secord student, there is one high school student. It actually hits on all four of the comprehensive school health pillars. All of the snacks that we provide fall under the nutrition policy with the Edmonton Public School Board, impacting the social environment, getting to build those connections with students who are older, teaching and learning as we are teaching a little bit about all of the four food groups and the different foods and healthy snacks that the students are able to eat. We work together with um, University of Alberta Athletics, we work with NSTEP, we work with uh, Harry Ainley School and our students as well. Without those partnerships and services this program wouldn't run. NSTEP has been a massive part of Roadrunner, bringing in the Edmonton Eskimos, the university students. They help supply and make the snacks that the kids get every single day. Some of the Roadrunner students prepare the snack and then teach the other kids about it. And then we get into the gym and we do an activity that includes everybody. We're more than just school to children. And so instead of going home and watching TV, why not keep kids after school and make sure that they're getting a healthy snack, make sure that they're getting some help with their schoolwork, and also make make sure that the gym is being used. We were quite overwhelmed with the amount of Harry Ainley students that wanted to be involved and the amount of parents that wanted their own children involved. We also make sure that our teachers were involved in terms of giving homework to the kids. We've always had a teacher involved and this year it's Kaylin Eaton. Teachers really easily are able to see, say, this is what your child needs. This is what we're in the business of. Advertising it and uh, selling it to your teachers as something that's going to help make their students better students get a catchy name for it whatever you do don't call it homework club even if you just did something small with like 10 you will see the benefits of it I can't imagine having not done this for the last two years there's only positives that can come from it the Harry Ainley kids come they pick right up they're so friendly with our students we are so fortunate that we get the Edmonton Eskimos to come out you always have somebody that you can look at and be like wow and aspire to Parent Council is very supportive of these kinds of initiatives because they too have kind of that comprehensive school health uh, philosophy. Roadrunner Club started with a staff member who it has retired. I think it's easy to transition it if your culture of your school wants it. As long as one person at each school is willing to continue to develop those relationships and keep it going, it will always keep going. I know Roadrunner Club is a success because students want it. We do a survey. The Data is very positive. This club really takes the social and emotional and physical and academic well-being of children and puts it all into one nice little neat package. That's the power of the program. The improvement that you see from Roadrunner Club over the year is phenomenal.